to ignore the facts of history and the aggressive impulses like of an one evil empire. Men, but who the fuck can beat them? I mean, I have the utmost respect for Frank and and Graham Robert, but did they see M. Bison and Superman Prime on the contract when they signed it? I just hope they don't get hurt too badly. Two former NCAA champions, they have formed, they are the evil empire. I wouldn't count my eggs before they hatch, Chevy. Sinestro's... Sinestro's... Ah! Oh, at ringside! How'd they allow that? You know how they allow that? The evil empire is valued, valued stockholders of Jinko. Ah! Oh, God damn it. Although I gotta say this, Grave Robber is taking it to Superman Prime. These two have fought before. These are no, they are no strangers to each other. Grave Robber has taken Superman Prime to the limit. He's taken M. Bison to the limit before. But he is yet to ever secure a win against either one of these two. Keep on, this is a team sport here in tag team wrestling. So, Evil Empire is in cahoots with Jinko. That's fucking great. Consider it a smart business investment by other. Double team, and M. Bison goes for the roll up. He. Grave Robber will in the presence of mine be nearby the ropes. What are you doing? You know, as if a knockout official is any better than any of our officials as we know them. Sinestro comes to the ring and sneaks the, the chair in the ring. Grave Robber goes out for a breather. I don't know what the hell Bison was trying to do there. He must have been playing with the catnip backstage. Now, as much as I'd like to say in a perfect world, Evil Empire is a beatable team. I mean, what's it gonna take to beat these two? As much as I don't like them, they are impressive competitors. They both have a NCAA World title to their credit. Just maybe, just maybe, Grave Robber might have one to his at the end of this evening. Look like he was going for the Zydrate enemy there. <gasps> But he tripped and flopped just like his leadership with Jinko. M. Bison hit Grave Robber with his belt and the ref didn't disqualify him. You pig fucker. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a regular match. Jack Hammer! Jack Hammer! Baco barbecue sauce! No! Psycho Crusher on the outside! Big fucker! My god, barbecue sauce! Another Jack Hammer! As you see, the referee's too busy with Frankenfurter. This is, this is awful. And 
great, it's bad enough Grave Robber has to fight three people, three top competitors. One of them is competing for the NCU world title tonight. What's he doing? This isn't smart. This is anti-logic. What are you trying to do here? The concrete below! How'd he do that? One, two, new tag team champions! No! Or how Darth Vader said, Revenge of the Sith. Double team a la Midnight Express style. No one gives a fuck about the Midnight Express. Just call the match how it is. Make the tag, Grave Robber, you're... Ah, there he goes. Now, I was informed early on that they were gonna do what they did with Tallahassee and the Zohan, that was neutralize their opponents for making the tag. Well, Grave Robber managed to get the tag in. Oh, Kryptonian clothesline. Arm bar! I haven't said that in a while. And Frank and Fur run. Superman Prime head into the, the canvas. And arm dra drag, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat style. Working the upper body because Frank Inferno wants to get to the lower half. Because he's gay. That's okay. Why well, the ref is taking a lot of abuse here. This is not necessary. None of this is necessary. No! 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 Not delicious! If the referee does not see it, it didn't happen. Hey, get off me! Okay, what's the point of this? We saw the Grave Robber do this earlier on. We saw... Mr. Rogers do this earlier on. What's he trying to do? <laughs> S5! <laughs> and this isn't gonna happen on Grave Robber's watch. <laughs> Superman Prime was too close to the non-neutral corner and somehow, Somehow, Frank Conferter actually has some offense on, on... I don't know what that was. I'll just say, cocaine's one hell of a drug. Frank Conferter can't even hold... Hold Superman down prime for a one count. I don't think you can ever hold Superman prime down. As much as he wants him. Another Kryptonian clothesline. S5. Stick a fork in him, people. And this has got to be it. And still, NCAA World To Champions. ignore the facts of history and the aggressive impulses of an evil empire. Evil empire retains. Fuck you, you pig fucky pig fuckers. 
Who could possibly stop this unstoppable force? If Bison, Superman Prime, they are the evil empire. They are your NCAA World Tag Team Champions. Danny Tall. Poor Ron Burgundy. Poor Ron Burgundy. This here is a steel cage match. It's to determine NCA's 2010 Tag Team of the Year. You voted, and we had undecided uh, outcome. It was like in the great battles like Al Gore versus George Bush in 2000. We drew, it was a draw. Nobody from Florida was voting, and so we, via President Reagan, we decided that we're going to have a best two out of three series. So the first match ended with Terrence and Philip winning by disqualification when they used the chairs. You'd fuck your uncle. You'd fuck beat him your down uncle. with the chairs. And the second match, and fighting injured, Cobra Kai came out victorious. And to determine once and for all who's the best tag team, there'll be no question about because they'll be locked within steel confines of the steel chair. I said with that, so it's gotta be more impactful. Steel cage, steel cage. Sorry, I'm not drinking caffeine today. So let me say that again. They will be facing off inside the confines of a steel cage. Snap into a slim chip. My God, barbecue sauce in the deck. All right, I got that on my system. Steel chair. What the fuck was I thinking? Okay, for those of you who don't know what my real life is like, I work two 16-hour shifts back-to-back -back in two days. So, in 48 hours, I worked 32 of them. That's a lot. I'm seeing shadow people. I should be doing some serious drugs just to stay awake. I'm not even drinking caffeine right now. DDT, Johnny Lawrence. And Terrence ran since they creased his head into the steel confines of the steel cage. Pop oh God, barbecue sauce, slip chip. Oh yeah. No, you haven't slept much when you have to pinch yourself to stay awake. What's he gonna do here? Headbutt! Double clutch, Iron Sheik style. Who is the greatest?